Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as the Jacksons. We're led by a guy named Neil Jackson, which we do have a little bit of a backstory to talk about, but the steps of Wyoming, which is a kind of a generic Wyoming tree. Wyoming's been a stopping place for many of the years, it's a shame the calm never lasts. Um, but the first of hundreds, not far from Wyoming, lay in Missoula. A gem of the waste once ruled by the hundred families, a powerful united familial forest in an otherwise destroyed region. Brought together by their need for peace and safety from the gang, the Montana. Uh, but before this, they were simply separate families of the wastelanders in the area. Those who had helped or had prepared for the coming of the end of time. Stockpiling food, water, materials, and knowledge for the dark times ahead. Seven for the nuclear warheads. And resulting starvation and the emergence of raiders and monsters. They got knocked down again and again, but they didn't forget the world that came before and chose to stand back up so that one day, the Myrene said something similar for the generations that followed them. Some would have called them cooks or kooks. Crazies and before the war, but after, they were survivalists, those who rolled with the punches and came out not always on top, but alive to continue the tale. The Jacksons grew sick of cowering the ruins of the once beautiful Missoula, dealing with the raider gangs that staked it as its territory, and grabbed what they could before the guy turned into food. They wanted more, so they united the families, leading them to become the 100 families striking down the costume jerks and instating the rule as a de facto force of Missoula, Montana's richest and most powerful. It was a bond the families formed not only between each other, but within that that allowed such strength to be formed. Uh, the attribute that led our ancestors to become so great acknowledged as fact uniting our families was their what? Cunning? Ooh. Two sippies and vampire. A rage. Ooh. I kind of like the rage aspect. I don't have guns. We need to work on. We definitely want support equipment. Uh, Anti-tank. This. Now, let's go with rage. Uh, knowing our guys. Alta and Burgess' legacy. Jealousy can be powerful and destructive force. But we are led by Neil Jackson. Time may have passed, but the fire within us has never wa waned. The memory of the slaughter still haunts us, fueling her de determination to build a better future. We'll never forget the bloodshed, and we'll ensure that no one else does either. The Jacksons were the greatest Missoula's fires families before the Enclave came. Like many, they welcomed the Enclave at first, but when the Colonel's taxes and censorship proved too much, Neilius Jackson organized a petition to challenge their oppression. For the trees and Jacksons were pushed east of the Badlands, where families that survived the Great War subsist as little more than raiders. Now, they are a threat to all the Northern Commonwealth and a reminder to the why Montana, a reminder to Montana why the Colonel's always right. Family ties. The Jacksons who survived the flight east are a tight-knit lot, unwilling to trust outsiders, but that family loyalty gives them advantages compared to a typical gang. And also we have radical scientists. So we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, uh, Safe Transfer Tool Mod, uh, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, as well as Old World Blues de Generic Decisions Revamped. So we have, um, we're basically kind of like uh, Raiders here. Uh, we get science points too. And we went with radical scientists because at this point we're kind of radicalized. The friends of our families, Missoula, our home, beautiful and blossoming, wealthy and bustling, had grown into an economic center to rival the trade hubs of the old world, wrecking enough caps to buy most raiders' ignorance of our little unprotected jewel. This protection lasted a while, but not, lo not, not long enough. The raiders, dumb as ever, decided that destroying the only stable source of income would be better than preserving it, and would devise new plans to protect ourselves from uniting raiders attacking the walls and wearing out our poor guards. While well, many of the families returned to cowering, the Jacksons saw the writing on the wall that the families didn't have the necessary power. But luckily enough, they had caps to procure pr protection. And even luckily, some forces that upheld the safety, same safety that the old, Ameri old world Americans enjoyed remained not far from us, hungry for wealth. The Wardens of the White Mercenaries, <clears throat> still upholding their duty, heard a call and were happy to receive some caps for taking out the trash. Working with them, we established our own democracy, one in which Missoula citizens could enjoy safety from the savages of the wasteland. With the help of Wardens, we have the power to fight off the weaker raiders, allowing us to give it less thought. Even some vacation, even vacation some, and return in peace to our homes. The wardens were spread too thinly to fully establish themselves in our lands, so while we suffer from attacks of more of more uniformed professional forces, we put up more than enough resistance to make them think twice before messing with Missoula. Darn straight, and the Missoula betrayal. Everything was going fine before, before these power armored creeps came to save us. I mean, they did beat back the steam lunatics, but that's not the point. Nice. Cool. And stand your ground laws. Which we go all the way through this. We can go to war with the ruminators as fast as possible, which gets us closer to the middle mouths. They have about roughly the same amount of divisions we do, so stand your ground laws. We'll try to rush through that as fast as possible. Out in the wild, you gotta know who you're gonna look uh, looking to shoot on the day to day. Anyone who gets too close or gets any funny ideas are more than fair game. Do we get a research slot at all here? I would like to. Last of hundreds. The Jacksons, leaders of the 100 families, defenders of the old world democracy. Uh, now what? Hunters, exiles, uh, survivalists. 
cast out by those we protected, those we bartered and fought on behalf of. Cowards, all of them, through and through. The Wessons, the Smiths, all of them. Guys too scared of their own shadow stand up for their founders. Their family, let me finish this story. My family, after we set up their little vacation spots, their safe little walls, their city, well, we will make it ours, our gosh darn city. Or at least, that's what we like to say. I'm sorry, let me start over. Oh, also down here. Oh, get a research light down here, too. That's awesome. Nowhere else can be home, too. Uh, oh, this one is bold. Right? Oh, this is a research slot. That's cool. Missoula, beautiful as she is, was now undefendable against any unified force. With the circumstances we faced, we knew this for years before the attack from Heaven's Gate came in 2268. Well, we Jacksons took up arms and held the lines against the lunatics, just like the stories of the old days, pushing back raiders. Except these ones had to tech out, had tech out the butt. I'm talking serious firepower, so we sent a big signal asking for help, and who answered? The Enclave. Remnants of the American elite, or something like that. Either way, they saved us and established real protection against foreign forces. Everything seemed cheery first, with the only caveat that the democracy we established years earlier was ripped away in favor of their military rule, so we did the American thing, organized a repetition, asked for the return of elections, or the promises of it being established fulfilled earlier, and they slaughtered every single one of us. The other families were too, were too scared, or maybe too domesticated to fight beside us. We ran to live another day, and were forced to become what we are now to survive the harsh conditions, but we will return. And now that Wyoming is getting chaotic, we're done rolling with the punches. Let's utilize it to carve a path back to Missoula. There's a lesson to be learned here, my kin. Family will always, always have your back. Welcome to the family. More Encore map bar, weekly map bar, division organization goes down. More recruitable population factor, worse resistance, militia defense goes up, and infantry attack goes up. Libby, emboldened by Papa Neil's story of acceptance, convinces Neil to follow her ideas. Using her manipulation and guile, she'll convince leaders all around us to join expanding her family. Although Maria will take a backseat to her affairs because of this. The Enclave screwed to the wrong family, and add only family. Worse non-core manpower, better, way better division organization, hurts the recruitable population factor. Special forces attack and defense go up, better minimum capacity. Resistance growth speed goes way down, compliance growth speed goes down by 10%, though, that's not good. Mer Marie, her spirit fell from her father's story of honor, convinces him to endorse her spec ops and keeping our forces Jacksons and Jacksons only, heavily boosting them at the cost of manpower. Libby, upset by this, will relinquish her duties to pursue knitting. How fun. So right now, who are we using? I choose Marie. You see, uh, we get manpower, and you get weekly manpower, but we're not using militia defense, or militia. So that's kind of, kind of a watch. I like the infantry attack, which is great. Um, hurt our manpower for more special forces. I mean, we're really geared towards special forces. Yeah. We're going to be radicals here. And being radical can be so much fun. Six divisions is not bad, though. Um, years to think. More war support would be bad. Uh, just enough rage. Uh, followers of the Apocalypse, I don't really want them here, but I kind of like them having here, so. Rage will boil a man alive if you let it in. Give an outlet to expel some of that fire, let other, let other than hunting and raiding. Also, the Enclave don't like the followers of the Apocalypse, so we want to use or get anybody that we can use that uh, have them here. Peace over war. I mean, we could. Political life for the family. Maybe there's some safe place in this post-apocalyptic world, but... Outside of them, you have to follow only one rule, kill or be killed. You shouldn't care about others' feelings, you should kill or you will die. And the one who makes the first move up, more chances on winning the fight. Mm, support equipment be important. Let's get some more guns and then more scout kits. I do want to start with guns, uh, support equipment. Uh, we could do all this stuff, but I'm probably not going to. Wouldn't mind more political power and stability, but still. Um, piece of war. Piece of. Not something that everyone can get, and almost every time people don't appreciate it, but when it goes away, they plead for it to return. We should appreciate the piece of while we have it. And we'll see. Political actions here are probably better. Um, here's the thing. Out here in Wyoming, it's easy to get stir crazy. Most anything that's been happening is what's going down south, towards Rollins and beyond, but those sorts of things don't mean a lick of anything to the Jacksons family. But we've had all the same, or all the time in the world to get ready to return for our return to Missoula. It's time to pick up the pace. Two research slots is just really not enough, man. Ugh. It's not good enough. Uh, plenty of gear. Over the years, we took every means we could for pep against a uh, enclave. Round two wasn't going to be easy, so easy for them. We've got plenty of old rag gear and plenty of people who uh, are just plum pissed off. We're more than rearing to go. Should be good. I mean, we're going to get all jacked up over this. What is this? 
Oh, what do you think our focus is? Settle people down as a settled nation, stand for priorities that reflect a commitment to internal development and modernization. Move our existing focus tree. Any uncompleted focus will no longer be attainable. Well, definitely don't want to do that, especially when we have a unique focus tree. Um, construction speed, yes. Put any gear. Ooh. Oh, wait, I thought I already told him to do that. Uh... Oh, there you go. There we get him. It's nice. Ready the men. All the boys spent their lives training out here on this frontier, finding marshals on the roadside and oh, look, drugs. Picking petty bouts with the Baron's crew, they ain't ready to fight the uncle, they ain't ever going to be. And testamental eventually, too. Toward the north, we get a cute little positivity movement cooking. Call themselves ruminators, they got like anything to think about. We're going to turn that smile right upside down and show them how it feels to be screwed over by people bigger than you. Ruminators, 3 to 7, huh? Elizaveta. The positive attitude. We can't wait to play some. This seems like fun. You use that peepee. -pee. Internal sphere? Nope. I'll put it out. Do we need water? No, we're good on water. We need scrap, actually. Our industry, eh? Deadline. Oh. Get more spaces for buildings. We're trying to get more science points. Cool. Embrace tribal way of life. The way sends a harsh and dangerous place, and sometimes all you have is the people by your back to see, keep you safe. Whether it be abandoned mutants dwelling the foundations of a truly new society, a raider gang settling down in a new area, vaults dwellers struggling to adapt to the surface, or a once great civilization going through erupted cloud and central power, or simply a nation trying to connect with nature, new tribes are constantly emerging in the wasteland just as often as they vanish. Adopt raiding to survive. Raiding the practice of stealing calves, food, chems, and more farm neighbors was practiced by ancient tribes and peoples long before the Great War. An old book we found tells how people like Vikings and Cossacks would use raiding to build mighty empires. Interesting. Oh. I want political power and I want chems. Political power? No, I guess army XP, really. We'll go with this one. Barely getting political power here. Wow. Not ideal, but whatever. We'll do with it. Our only family. Look at the special force attack. Oh, God. That's good. And then all jacked up. Oh, crack up in a smile, why don't you? America's devout. Some cold to libs. Whack job showed up to accept some humanitarian bull. Seems like democracy just as much as us. They want it. And it's weird, uh, weird kind of way, though. Can we rush through and get another research slot? Yeah. Thinking about beans. Wyoming's well, peaceful place. We're planning room for homestead. And of course, we got really to work on some things, but that's everywhere. Less, but less so here. It's kind of nice sometimes, you know, when things aren't blowing up all the time. What are we making here? Is it chems? Support equipment? Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, they have militia that makes it better for us, but they do have special forces, which is going to be tough for us to crack. But we do have, uh, you know, anti tank. We're gonna need a lot of signs. <clears throat> science boys, in oh, more increase by plus five. Hey, nice. Input, improvised tools. Output, output, output as much as you possibly can. Expand army training. Can't fight if you don't know how to. Should expand and improve our troops' training quality or training program. All jacked up. Thank you. And the fires from upon the hills. Uh, the frontier may be most peaceful, but times grow tough and some folks are desperate. Changes must be made. But we're gonna save just in case things go really solid for us. But we should be okay. As long as we keep them in place, we should be able to like encircle and destroy them. They immediately start attacking us. Interesting. Alright. So hold on to your butts if you can. Not gonna be easy. No one ever said it was. Burning. How many divisions have got? Oh, they went to 14 now. Oh, God. Maybe that was a bad idea. We're going to war them. Blimey. Of course, we could always wait to go to war them, too. Is 
I do have quite a few divisions. Mampart's okay. He's not great right now. Air support command. Oh, I got this one. You know what? Go and poop him out. We don't need him. Just on the front lines. Stay here and hold. Right. If you move, will they go in here? Hopefully not. Think about beans. Yeah, they will. Got a little bit of money here, so what we're gonna do is come over here and tax, tributize, buy a couple guns. I'm sure, we could use them. Again, we'll go back and save and make sure we don't completely die. The problem with irrigation is that uh, uh, somebody's gotta dig up those bits. If I were a gecko, I sure as heck wouldn't be effing around with the compo composites. Ants and lovely art of. Uh, ants are a holes. No, really. They really love to talk crap and just bury it like it'll be used for later. So the crew in there, blow the thing in heck, you know? Oh crap, first thing you need to gather the stuff they stole, and uh... You and you and you, know, you gotta get the nectar and all, for us sake, forget all the irrigating crap. What in the wide, wide world of sports are we doing? The finer points of American progressivism. See, son, the more flowers you say something, the more flowers you say something, the more it has meaning, even if it don't. As much like stability, you can always get more stability. I wanna go with this one, because we need more scrap too, anyways. Um, uh, here's Wyoming. Wyoming's a vast and beautiful land, full of opportunities for growth. We must take advantage of it, so that our children may live easier. Fires upon the hills. Frontier must be most peaceful, but the towns grow tough and some folks desperate. Change must be made. Air stuff ain't bad. War support, army XP is good too. Um, no more fathers. These confused denizens of the monument that once represented the greatest pillars of democracy have become part of a uh, pest, sort of. Let's blow them the F up, or the people, not the monument, you know, just the people. Maybe that's, maybe that too, though. Hunting wild bees. There are many horrible creatures that roam the fields of Wyoming at night. Most of them tragic leftovers of Alan Burgess's carelessness and times gone by. Hunting them will not just make the land safer, but improve the thinness of our warriors. Uh, tomorrow and our betters. Many great forces surround the lands of Wyoming. What if one tries to reach our safety? We know the land better than anyone. We won't just make use of it. We'll make it part of our advantage. Hearts and minds. A people ready to defend themselves will answer a thousand more calls of action. Factors for the folks. Uh, ooh. A reasonable society is formed off a system of mutually agreed tasks. The wasteland is a harsh place. Many folks create some sort of purpose. To protect ourselves and brighten the minds of our people. We'll facilitate the construction of new workshops across Wyoming. Harvest in the Nuka Cola factory. To the north, the Nuka Cola factory lays derelict. We can salvage bottles for inside for caps. We may have a little R and R along the way if there's enough cola to be had. The masters of Wyoming. Or waters of Wyoming. Though they're far from safe to drink at such times, the lakes and rivers of Wyoming are far better than others found in the wasteland. With enough joy rigging, we can establish that purifiers help us with thirst and escape from hardship. Many people stayed in Wyoming by accident. Maybe the caravan fell apart, maybe they just liked the people, or maybe it was just the weather. These people are quick to chat with the newcomers and work with locals. Planning a way ahead. Our warriors have done much to protect the citizenry. Exalting them for their repeated victories would be appreciated, no? And back to the fire. There's a fire in every working individual's heart. A passion for a craft that's untapped. Why not let them express themselves with, pro with productive means? And here we have it, everyone. We're still defending against the Ruminators. We've actually lost that territory, but we took out this really south territory here, over the river. Should we casualties in just a moment, but homeland doctrines. We've no need for anyone or anything but home. Turning our minds inward will bring about a true era of peace. Uh, sure, why not? Friendly but territorial. A cautious hand can be better than a welcoming one. At least that's what most people think after trying to get a, or pat a, a mountain lion. So, as we're here, still defending as best we possibly can. Our divisions are looking incredibly somewhat defeated. Or at least tiny. Family guards. The ten come with. But we do. They did throw in some chems and whatnot. My god, do we need some manpower? Yeah, I figured as much. We're doing alright. Just let them wail against us. And have them lose. Uh, military sending bonuses would probably be a good idea. Do we need anything? Anti tank and that stuff too. Uh, 29. We'll close out this one. We still need stuff here. Yeah, uh, uh. those special forces this way. That'd be probably a good thing to do. Uh, send one division this way because it doesn't look so good now, does it? Here, why not? Probably just a wee bit, but we do need to read a couple more folks as well. 
Wow, they're looking super defeated right now. But what do you expect? One of the Ruminators just keep attacking and attacking and attacking. Is there any way we get more manpower? I already went to Raider Bands. We're mobilizing a little more, which is good too. And let's see. So two at a time. More defense would be good. Anything over here we can do? Yeah, hundreds, not much. It won't take too long to get that. This will be good to get. Uh, coal come suck em. Hmm. Civvy would be nice. Oh, here we go. The Wyoming Calm. The calm chill of Wyoming is inviting to much of the West Side with the rumors of our hard work and like my individuals have begun to arrive up from all over. Hey, that'd be great. Just don't lose. You're not allowed to lose. You can do anything but lose, basically. Good. And gives a little more defensive core territory, too. Reinforce rate, sure. Oh, we have another one too, huh? Well, more attack and defense, why not? That should bring us over to the other side. Nice. Boy, they really are trying to smash through us, aren't they? Oof! No more empty tank. We're looking good on spec ops for now. Rationalism is not bad. Uh huh. Standard infantry, stuff like that. Daily political power, sure, why not? Why don't you both go here? I want you to combine. Hold. We need less that way. Combine. So at least you're full strength there. I hope that'll hold, maybe, maybe not. But my god, they love attacking as much as humanly possible. Let them leave, let them turn around. Thank you, up here. Everyone else should be able to hold. These guys should be able to hold. It's this tile here that's looking god awful. You're gonna force defense. At this point, I don't care. You're forcing yourself in there. How are you still losing with force defense? Wow. Not ideal. Well, I mean, comms is good, though. Mm, even more manpower would be nice. Refineries, refineries. Oh, expansion doctrines and our way of life is the only way to ensure our own personal safety. We'll venture out and fang with stress before they can reach our doorstep. Yeah, that would be nice. Probably not a good idea to do that, is it? Oh, now they're forcing attack. Wow. Uh, train populace. A gun in everyone's hand is one thing, but without the know-how to sling it, it's just as useful as a bag of dirt in a drought. Training exercise won't help just help, just help folks what to, know what to do. It'll save a lot of lives in the process. Oh. The coalescence. Wyoming's are home, and if we have anything to say about it, it always will be. Barrier, iron, skill, training, and teamwork. All these matter in war, but sometimes it truly needs a shiny new gun. No more daddies. These confused denizens of the monument that once represented the greatest pillars of democracy have become a pest. Let's blow them up, or the people on the money. Maybe that's a two, though. Up and down the highway, nothing clears them ahead like a midday drive. Now we can find a working pump. A jack of all trades, master of none still, better than master of one. The refineries, though they may certainly stay in the views. Numerous derelict factories dot the landscape. Let's see if we can get some of them back online. Home on the frontier. No matter how amazing the land may be without food to sustain it, it won't host anything for long. Looking into the agricultural concerns would suit us well. Rebooting power stations. Stars can only guide us so well. A proper power station would help us see at night and well heater if we can find a functioning one that is wouldn't hurt either. Tools to build at home. Scavenging is the baseline of any waste in society. We trade both spies and respect by the majority. Equipping scavengers to go and see what they can get will save us a lot of legwork. Building ourselves up. Be uh, to build a civilized society, you must be capable of building in the first place. The scavengers employed and the power stations will help us get the proper equipment to try and start expanding. And then get computers and other gizmos. The dull glow of the screen lights up our office. Well, it's tenuous that they grant over pen and paper. <clears throat> what they grant over pen, and, over pen and paper. Many voices are proclaiming that the future is now. We're trying this again here. We're not doing bad. We're actually having enough divisions. Our divisions are now thick enough, too. We've used up all that manpower we've gotten earlier. Uh, except for subtle winds. And we're doing all right. The steps care of any area. We have steps for miles and nothing but fast tracks of land in between. While many great ranches dot the landscape, few connections have been established between such places. 
The cutter to ca care of the nearing would be key to reasonable economic growth. So, and we're also just trying to destroy this division down here too, which looks like it's going all right. Is it fantastic? No, but it's going all right. Um, we have 18 divisions. The special forces are pretty much where they need to be, except for the uh, support companies and whatnot on them. And yeah, we're doing all right. Family guards, 18 combo with. We need a little more on them. Jackson's 20 combo with, which is pretty nice. And we're gonna grab steps to care of the nearing. That'd be good. Good, good, good. They're still attacking a little bit, but at this point, they're definitely not attacking like they used to. The settling winds. The settling winds of Wyoming have been inviting premonition to travelers and wayfarers alike. Dozens of people pass through the lands, and more and more stay are staying every day. It's great. Get that manpower. Get even more manpower, because my god, we are always out of manpower. All out of that good stuff. And you go here, you go here to here. See what you can do. At this point, we might actually be able to do something here. Hey, look at that. That looks pretty good. Um, That's probably a bad idea. There you go. Start beating the crap out of them like this, maybe. Really keep them in the hole. That might provoke them to attack us somewhere else, perhaps. Keep these guys in place as well. Go in. Get in there. Get nice and dirty. Taking out the Ruminators is taking a long time. A little longer than I expected, in all honesty. Something out. But help them and kill them all off. Uh, growing industrial power. The wild fields around our settlement are slowly filling with signs of in industry and progress. Our hands shape Wyoming even further. Nowhere could be home too. Wyoming is a beautiful place, almost so certainly nowhere. But well, where else is there to be in this world if not nowhere? Hey, we got rid of them. Nice. At this point, we may actually be able to do a general attack, perhaps. Let's get these guys on the line first, and then move out that way. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, anything else? Ministry and war. Not much we can really do here. Uh, yeah. It's not bad. Not great. Let's we'll see what we can do. Shall we? We shall. We're not going to win everywhere, but we'll win in close enough. Our enough locations. Settle our winds. Cool. Some infrastructure is always nice, too. Hysham? Hysham? Hey, look at that. They actually really wanted to kill themselves, didn't they? That's good. Political power. Uh, more stability, please. Grind out that arm XP because we gotta start moving out and taking over other people. Who used to be here? Is it MacArthur? Well, this roommate are finally done, my goodness. Um, because we took so long now, I'm not really sure. Take the clubhouse? While well, devout, the Ruminators were very liberal with our organization, it seems. Let's repurpose some of that spirit for our own betterment. And the silly books. You can't catch a rab with a magazine, but you can teach one of our kids to read? Well, that'll lead to something good, hopefully. Go, uh, come suck them. Some kind of coal company's been here since the colonel kicked us out. Let's end that BS. Jacking some coal. We're other metal folks call the Brotherhood not because they're a family like us, but because of some nightly crap. Let's see how well they enjoy our swords. Well, since we're here, we might as well grab that now. Construction speed would also be very good as well. This bed is getting higher. So we don't get any cores, which kind of sucks. Rosebud. Oh, does this? Ah, it is a trade note. Okay. I wonder they're doing so well. Maybe they're using the trade note to their advantage. I, mean, I know I would. It's not very well developed. But look at that money. That's something. You know what? Uses in the skip package. And military sending bonuses. Good. We'll get through our land auction pretty nicely. So at this point, we're definitely going to need to raise ourselves up a little bit more. Because right now, Marshall Republic is what we want, but still. The metal mouths. Cyborgs. Men who think they're just like a machine or something. Ain't that funny? But a whole bunch of crap you don't understand inside your body. Just because you think it's going to make a difference when I get a bullet to your noggin? Metal mouths, eh? Hey, finally. That's good. Go and grab that one, too. That works. Whatever. Bigger iron, air, and sea with our surroundings. It's easy to forget the beauty of nature, even more so if we forget to use the great big sky and many rivers to our advantage. Great skies. Man has always wished his sword's boards do, and bases of freedom. Let's use this gear to our advantage and establish bases so that we may fulfill this need. Good for rivers. Well, yeah, not quite. I love our fly. We love the wind and the hair. And probably our hair. We cannot deny, we cannot lie. Soaring is where it is at. Even more sky. The beauty of the clouds is robbed only by the joy of being amongst them. 
making them count. The sword is divine, but once the bullets are flying too, we must pay heed to reality. Every plane counts, and we need to remember that. Quality for lack of quantity. Not only are planes a precious resource, but so are those uh, with the skills to fly them. Our pilots are heroes and should be afforded every chance to succeed. Wide open, above, and below. Wyoming is as wide as the sky, and we can afford a store under the stars. Those who destroy us will be cut unawares. Or unaware. -er. Oh, look at this. So get this, so, friend. A woman who thinks she's a servant of God says America is an angel, not a whole country. Well, we lived in America for long enough to know that that ain't worth crap. Besides, she's in her way. I wonder if we could hold up against that, maybe. Maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's see. If we don't get it, we get more war support. At least that's a good uh, consolation prize for us. <clears throat> so what will it be? Well, since we're here anyways. And of course they're So yeah, let's get the war sport for that. How many divisions have we got? Up to 25. They're pretty strong though. We're not quite ready to take them on quite yet. Uh, slicing open the sky. If you thought Liberty Freaks were bad, these fellows are worse than worse. They'll sooner skin you alive and make you into the cat before they sit down and talk to you. Well, like a world where the sort of high society folks such as ourselves can get by just as he or she pleases, thank you very much. These sort of unkind people have no place in Montana. It's true. Up to 23, that's more manageable. Standing Rock, far fewer. Um, but that's a gigantic board that we can't really contend with. We look okay. We need way more radios and infantry equipment, actually, finally. Uh, go five. Go down to two. Go down to one. Share the wealth a little bit. Can we get these territories from them? Taking out the trash. Middle Mouse had a whole heap in scrapyard or two worth of crap we can reuse. Tear them apart through the bodies in a fire. Republic this, Republic that. All, what a Republic of whatever. These wastelanders know nothing of such things, although their use of the land and hardships um, <clears throat> remain uh, so much of our own. Let's bring them into the family. Can't you just give us what we want? Why can't they play nicely? You know? No more daddies. Uh, can we get to Banner Apple Territories? I doubt we'll get it. It'd be funny if we did, though. Help with some settlements. Peace over war. No, well, good. Science and technology. More than 30 available factories. Oh, increase. Okay. Don't tell me we got it. Yeah, they reject us. Well, at least we got the, all that war support. That's good. I'm not going to war with these guys. Let's see if we can actually fight them. We might be able to, actually. Economic advisors, resource efficiency gain. Yeah, you know what? We can use that, too. We need to core everything else, but still. We're getting there, though. No more fathers, families versus free states. Good. Yeah. Hmm. Grenades. Hmm. Very nice stuff. Barrage balloons, not quite, going to quite use them. Ooh, we need some circuitry, don't we? Yeah. Nice. Ooh, they do have power armor, though. I can't imagine it's very good, though, however. So let's see what happens with these guys. We do finally have enough manpower. We're gonna take the clubhouse next. So let's see what happens. Because the feeling is just still probably wanna come kill us sometime too. Well, if it's not gonna work out for us, maybe it won't be a good idea. But maybe we start attacking them too. Maybe that'll do something for us. Something good for us, maybe. I'll relieve them just a little bit, because they are getting the crap beaten out of them. Yeah, that'd be the ideal thing to do. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see, really, because sometimes they're winning, sometimes we're winning. 
Um, 19 divisions for 1925. Oh, they might have more than us. Maybe that's a bad idea to go to war with them. How are we losing? How have we lost that much already from the Jacksons? Have we lost any tile yet? Oh, maybe that over here. But! Oh, hello. Oh, that is not ideal. Maybe I should realize that earlier. Hmm. In town for lunch. The way an enclave brain shoots out of their helmet lens, it's something that sticks with you. Inspires the general unlike anything else. I think I'm right there, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back to the drawing board for this one, because it's not super easy. Oh, we'll do Wyoming, Wyoming wings. If you want to go higher, we'll have to build more than wings. Dedicated engines of powerful fly were once widespread, now they'll be again. So, if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll continue on with the good old Jacksons. Not the Jackson 5, but the Jacksons. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.